The decision to invest is based on the cost of capital, what it costs us to borrow the funds, and the expected rate of return. If we turn to the table, we can see there are four projects listed, the expected rate of return, and the funding required for each of these projects. In other words, these are the amounts that we have to borrow in order to finance the projects. In the bottom table, the cost of capital, the interest rate at which you borrow, are listed. Now, the decision to invest is based on the cost of capital and the expected rate of return. If we complete the table, we'll see at an interest rate of 4%, all of these projects are viable. For example, project A, expected rate of return is 10%. It costs you only 4% to borrow the funds, but the rate of return is 10%. So this project is viable. Project B, rate of return is 15%, costs us 4%, so project B is also viable. We can do the same with project C and D, and we'll see that all the projects are viable. The expected rate of return is more than the interest rate, the cost of borrowing. So at an interest rate of 4%, the expected investment will be 150 plus 100, that's 250, plus another 50, is 300,000, plus 250,000. So at an interest rate of 4%, expected investment is 550,000. At an interest rate of 8%, in other words, now it costs us 8% to borrow the funds. We can see project D is not viable. It costs us 8% to borrow the funds, but the expected rate of return is only 4%. It costs us more than what we expect in return. But projects A, B and C are viable. So at an interest rate of 8%, the expected investment will be 150,000 plus 100,000, that's 250, plus another 50, that is 300,000. We can do the same at interest rate of 10% and 15%. At 10%, projects C and D are not viable. Can you see why? Cost of borrowing the funds, 10%. The expected rate of return, 8 and 4%. So these two projects are not viable. So investment will only be Project A and B, 150 plus 100, that's 250,000. At an interest rate of 15%, only Project B is viable. The rate of return for Projects A, C and D, 10, 8 and 4%, are less than 15%, so only Project B is viable. What can we see? As the interest rate increases, less of the projects become viable. So as the interest rate increases, investment decreases. We can also show the relationship between interest rate and investment graphically. On the vertical axis, we have the interest rate, the horizontal axis, investment. At an interest rate of 15%, investment is 100,000. At an interest rate of 10%, investment increases to 250,000. At 8%, investment is 300,000. And then at 4%, investment is 550,000. If we link these points, we have the investment function. It shows the inverse relationship between interest rate and investment. Inverse relationship? Yes, that's a negative relationship. In other words, if the interest rate goes up, investment will decrease, and if interest rate goes down, investment will increase. This is one of the more important relationships in economics.